You guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with the video, which is like such a meaningful video, I really appreciate you guys can subscribe and hit the like button. I post a video very frequently on the channel on contemporary and designer fashion, and I just kind of post what I like. I kind of go with the flow. And today we're gonna be talking about how I met Tori Birch here in Dallas, and how I got her to sign my bag, and um, just how it is. Normally, I'm not the type of person to fangirl. I'm not the type of person to, you know, when I see celebrity, I've seen so many people. I've seen clients. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of public figures. And I don't really am the type of person to fangirl a whole lot. Like, I'm not usually the type of person. I've literally seen Erica Badu out and about. I have seen other people. And I'm not name dropping just say, but I've just seen, I've seen other people. And, you know, I let them live their lives. I let them do whatever. And for me... Um, you know, I'm not the biggest like, oh my god, oh my god, it's you, it's you, it's you. There are a few people that I would do that for. One of them is Tori Burch, one of them is like Michael Kors, one of them are the Olsen's twins. Um, Jenny Rivera, she was still alive. There's a few people, Ariana Grande, there's a few people that I would really fangirl, like Anina being, um, if I ever got to meet her in person, I would literally have such a fangirl moment. Um, there's a few people, the, the Veronica's from Veronica Beard, like there's a few people, mostly more fashion people. I would like have such a surreal moment with them than uh, like celebrities like if I saw I saw maybe more of a musician if I saw maybe Maroon 5 absolutely I would love to meet them but you know I mean it is what it is but I'm very much people that I do kind of like and that I kind of you know see going forward um the people that I do like and people that I admire is very very few Kendra Scott's another one of them if you guys don't know Toy Birch opened a new store here in Plano so there are four stores uh Toy Birch stores here in the DFW area a lot of them were, were within the last couple years so the original flagship one is in Highland Park Village that was their number one store it was a flagship store for such a long time and it was the only really place where you can get Toy Birch other than uh, Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom and so that was like their flagship store and then they opened one at North Park and North Park is a very high traffic mall so obviously that one big old and then they opened one in Fort Worth which is in the shop to Clear Fork and that shopping center there's like a Tiffany there's a Louis Vuitton there's a Burberry um, there is a Neiman Marcus and obviously Toy Birch Boutique and so they opened that one and then recently at the shops in Plano um, they opened a boutique there and there is I believe all the little designers stores at the opening they already opened the Gucci there's going to be a Tiffany there's going to be a Louis Vuitton and then the Toy Birch already opened about a week ago and so I kind of saw the store and it looked like a more of a newer concept store so I had a feeling that she was gonna come and I don't know like I just been putting good energy out there I just I, I just I, when I know something's gonna come up I, I can sense it within myself and also I, you know I can just kind of ask around and see what I get so I just had a feeling that she was gonna come and then so on Monday I just some somebody that uh, happened to work at North Park I literally saw Tori walking by herself like she was wearing like this beautiful uh, green kind of floral um, suit and trouser she was wearing a beautiful handbag like she was just fully like the Tori aesthetic and so I knew that she was obviously in town because she somebody, somebody had told me that she was spotted at North Park so I was like oh my god Tori is here Tori is here Tori is here and so then I had asked around um, to different places i'd be like is tori really coming is tori in uh, north park and you know my understanding was yes and contacting one of my essays i told him i have a feeling that tori Birch is gonna come and i said is there a, do you know tori's gonna come um at your store um and they told me that you know potentially yes but it's not like a set in stone so i just happened to you know i live not too far away from north park i probably live like 10 minutes away 15 minutes away depending on traffic i kind of live in central dallas so i'm in pretty much in the hub of everything and so i hit the tollway i go and i just kind of like wait around i kind of ask around and they told me oh maybe toy birch will be you know she's she's at the store but she's going to be walking around in the mall and so i was just kind of walking around the mall to see if i could spot her and then with uh, two of my friends, I ended up kind of walking around and then I see them leaving. Like I spot the whole group. It was like a bunch of group of them. Uh, it was just like, it looked like a bunch of like executive. Well, they were probably all executives. It looked like bodyguards. It looked like all the girls that were with Tori were all like toyed out. They all had like Lee Roswells. They all had these beautiful outfits from Tori Birch. I re actually really like a lot of Tori Birch ready to wear. And so she was leaving and then my friends were like, no, no, she's leaving. She's leaving. And they're like, Sergio, go for it. Run, run, run. 
run and so um since it was such like a very short notice i didn't really like kind of dress the occasion i just wore a navy tory sweater i wore some black mother jeans and then i wore some van slip on shoe i probably should have worn maybe something a little bit better than a van slip on shoe but i was like it's okay it doesn't matter and then so i brought my uh tory Burch eleanor with me because i said i told i told myself i manifested to myself i said if tory's coming to dallas i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna meet her and that I'm gonna take a picture with her. I said, it's gonna happen for me, it's gonna happen for me. I'm going to make it happen, like I'm gonna make it happen. And I said, I don't know how, I don't know when, um, but I'm genuinely in my heart, I'm gonna make it happen. And so she's leaving and then so by the time I kind of run to the outside exit to the mall, she had had like uh, kind of two cars waiting for kind of like a Mercedes kind of like SUV where like it's more like a little mini bus where like all the other people went and then in the other car it was like Tori and then somebody else and so Tori was already in the car and I ran and I, and I talked to like some guy I don't know who it was it's probably her security guard or something hi 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 I said I'm Tori's number one fan I said can she please sign my bag can she please sign my bag can she see sign my bag and I was like I was like so shaking I was so nervous like I kind of wanted to cry because I felt like I had missed my opportunity. I was like, no, I said, no, no, no. But I told myself, you know what, Sergio? The worst I could tell you is no. And it would have been okay. I would have kept it moving on Monday. I would have been, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing's going to happen. You'll still love Tori. And at least you can say that you tried. Y que no te casas con las ganas. One thing about me, no me gusta quedarme con las ganas de absolutamente nada. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I don't care. I don't care what people say. I don't care if I make mistakes. At least I could say that I tried to do it. And so I told the guy, I said, please, please, please. And then like, it was like, all the other girls and like all the things i said please i just want and i had i had a silver um kind of like paint sharpie because i knew that obviously a black sharpie or color sharp was not going to work so i wanted to get something that was going to show in black and so i said please like i have a pin right here like i would really love her to sign my bag like please 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 and normally like i said i'm not the type of person to say please or to like i wasn't necessarily like begging because i wasn't i was just like please and so he was like okay i'll, I'll see what i can do for you and so so Tori was already in the car, right? So here's my phone. And so all the people were walking through here. Tori was right here in the car. There was already somebody on the other side. There was obviously somebody that was driving. And then there was like another bus. And so the guy kind of walks me up and knocks. And like knocks like two or three times. But there he just kind of like points at me. And you know, I thought, oh no, she's probably gonna say no. It's and I said, you know what? It's okay. She's already in the car. Like you know, he, you know, it is it is what it is. Yes, it would be different if she was out in the mall and I just kind of pop up and just say, you know, can you please tie my bag? But then she got then she opened the door and I said, hi Tori. I said I said you don't know who I am, but I just want to say I'm your number one fan and it would mean the absolute world to me if you could sign my bag. Like I, it it would just mean the world to me. And then so she takes a look at me. I had the navy Tory Burch face mask. I had my navy Tory Burch sweater. I had um, the Tory Burch Eleanor. And she said, are you sure that you want me to sign this bag? Like, are you sure? And I said, absolutely yes. Like, it would mean the world to me. Like, I love your entire brand. Like, I, I've been a big fan for such a long time. And it would mean the absolute world if you could sign my bag. And then she asked me for my name. Uh, she spelled it out. And she's like, is that how you spell it? And I said, yes. I was like, S-E-R-G-I-O. And so you can put whatever you want. Um, but I would just really appreciate if you could sign it for me. And then, um, kind of like talking to her, I talked to her how, you know, I've been a big fan. I told her I have a YouTube channel. I told her how I, I repped her brand so much and that I've been a big fan for such a long time. And I just kind of wanted to tell her everything that I kind of wanted to say. And, you know, regardless of whatever, um, I just kind of want to say my thing because I feel like as a human, I mean, I think, like I said, I just wanted to say what I felt like I wanted to say. I want to say what I felt. And so I told her that, and so she signs it, and so I had this over a um, little paint, and I kind of like shaked it for her, and I gave it to her, and she she wrote it right here, and so I was really excited in the moment, que la pintura started kind of rubbing off, like, because I had, I had it right here, and then kind of like the guy was kind of pulling me out, I think he knew that I was going to ask her a picture, and she, I don't know if she was going to say yes or no, and I said, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, do you know if we can take a picture, like, it would mean the absolute world to me, like, I'm so sorry to bother you, like, I know you're really busy, and she told me, uh, for the people that love my brand for the people who support me it's never an inconvenience and oh my god that put such a bright smile like i kind of wanted to cry and so i gave her my phone and i, I 
and I just gave it to her. I said, here's my phone. And so she takes my phone and she was still in the car and she was just kind of like moving it. And she's like, you know what? Let me get out of the car. So I got Tori to get out of her car. All the executives and all the people were probably like looking at me like, this guy is absolutely crazy. This guy has a lot of balls to come up here and ask her for this. Cause Tori is like the bread and butter. You know what I mean? All the people below her, Tori is like the main one. And so she got out of the car and then, um, she took a selfie and I just said thank you so much Tori like I really appreciate you and then I told her about my channel and she said me um, for my card and I didn't have any and I actually don't have any so apps, uh, this is one of the weekly things that I'm getting done is I'm gonna have business cards because I could have just given it to her but she was just like just put Tori Burke Sergio on YouTube just put Tori Burke Sergio on YouTube and it will pop up but just know I love your entire brand and I just want to say thank you for the time to seeing this and I said I hope we have a good trip in Dallas and then I said uh, bye and then the guy that kind of like opened the door for me was like uh, he said, like, oh, what's your channel? He kind of wrote it down on notes and then I said, thank you. Thank you so much And then you know, it was over it was done editing the video I also forgot to say that she told me that she loves the semen in Tory Burch that it makes her so happy And she said that she loved my outfit and she said I rep Tory really really well So um, I forgot to say that but she also did tell me that as well And then you know the friends that I was with um, didn't go outside with me. Um, I guess just they just didn't <laughs> and so when I walked in they kind of saw me open the door and I was so excited like literally because it was all of them walking right and so you see like all these people like who is this and then you see this random ass guy um, just like walking back in the store and I'm just like I have the bag like I'm gonna show you this was my reaction like I, I was just literally guys I was just like <sighs> I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, she did it, she did it, she did it. But I didn't notice that it was like smudged a little bit um, until after. And so I showed, I showed the people that I was with, I was like, oh my god, she signed the bag and she took a picture with me. And I was just like, oh my god, like, it's such a surreal moment, you know, to meet Tori Birch. Like, for me, you know, a lot of these designers that I have behind me, a lot of people, they're not here to be around for them to sign a handbag or to you know just see them as a public figure or see them as designers you know coco chanel is no longer here with us a lot of the designers alaya and so to just meet a living designer especially an american designer um is a really big deal and especially a designer that i have repped so hard a designer that i've loved for many years that my mom has loved for many years and i'll tell you what my mom told me um after because she's actually still on vacation um, and I didn't tell her that I was meeting her till after the fact. So all my friends were like, oh my god, like, oh my god. And, you know, she signed the bag. And so now I'm going to show it to you. It did get smudged a little bit. And my friends were like, oh no, I can clean up with the Q-tip. And I said, you know what? Life isn't perfect. I said, things aren't perfect. And I think it looks more authentic for it to, oh my god, <laughs> I'm getting a little emotional. I said, I said, la vida no es perfecto. And I think, you know, for it to just have little smudges, I just, it, it looks like you were living in the moment. It looked like you were so happy which i genuinely was like it was such a surreal like for tori to get out of her car you know she doesn't owe me anything she doesn't she didn't have to get in my car she could have been like bye bye she could have just went on to the next thing but for her to take time out of her day it just means the absolute world to me and this is my favorite handbag in my collection i'm saying it you know I have a lot of handbags, but this is the one that has the most meaning towards it. And I'm thinking about not, I, w I feel like I would use the bag maybe like very, very occasionally. But I really genuinely like the bag in general, the Eleanor. I think I'm going to buy it in the brown color and then just display this one. Back home, I have like a lot of very nice kind of like department store di display cases that are like, they're very, very like high quality. And so I have one of those and I'm thinking about putting it in there and kind of having it for like a keepsake or I may just use the bag. But here is the signature right here. It says, um, you know, like I said, I got so excited because I had it right here, but it says with love, Sergio XOXO Toy Birch. And so Tori signed my Toy Birch Eleanor bag and um, I will say I, I'm such a happy person like 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 I said I, I didn't expect to get much I didn't expect for for even her like once I saw her get in the car I was like oh it's probably not gonna happen but I said you know what the guy's really nice and you know it's probably is gonna happen and she oh when I told her about my YouTube channel she was also like very excited she was like oh really I said yeah like I said I, ha I probably have like a, like 50 videos on no I didn't say 50 I probably said I had I had like I probably have like a good 10 15 videos on your brand and I just want to see that I love your brand so much and you know I just want to say you're you're one of my favorite designers and so you know the bag got signed guys and so 
Um, my friends were telling me to clean it up, to clean it up, to clean it up. Uh, honestly, guys, I really like how perfect it looks like that. I think it looks like I lived in the moment. And this bag is my favorite bag in my collection. And the way I'm going to be displaying it is no longer going to be this way. I'm going to display it like this. This is a one of one. Like, nobody could ever take away this handbag and say that it's theirs. This is my handbag because it's signed with my name by Tori Birch. Like, it is signed by Tori Earth himself. And um, like I said, I posted a picture on Instagram and I said that this is probably one of my favorite days of 2021. Like I said, 2021 has just been so crazy, so amazing. A lot of great things have happened and I'm just opening life with um, open arms and I'm just living for every day. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, you know. It's just crazy because every day is a new day. Some days my friends are like, let's do this or I wanna do that or you know, I just don't know where I'm gonna be at in a week from now. I don't know if I'm gonna take a spontaneous trip in two weeks from now. I don't know, you know, thing, you know, life just goes by so fast and I just love to live in the moment and that having that rush and having that energy running and, and talking to those people, like, can you please, like, it was just such a rush and I think that's what life is all about. You know, sometimes you get rejection, sometimes you don't, but I think that's what life is all, all, all about. And so she signed my bag, guys. And now my Tory Burch Eleanor um, is going to be sitting behind here. But like I said, uh, meeting Tori was she was one of the most nicest persons as far as public figures. Probably one, she's been one of the nicest persons I've ever met. I met quite a bit of people, you know, regardless if I I, I take a picture with them or not. I met quite a bit of people. And I will say Tori is definitely one of the nicest persons that I've ever met. And I, I, this is a bag that I'm going to treasure for the rest of my life. Like this means the absolute world to me. A handbag signed by Tori Birch herself. Um, it's just such a surreal moment. I, I love it. I, I, I love I love pieces like this that, you know, people can never take away from you. No one can ever take away this bag and say, this, this is their bag. I'm like, this is my bag because it has my name on it signed by Tori Birch herself. So, I have my Eleanor. I love her so much. She brings me so much joy. She brings me so much happiness. And um, I don't get attached to a lot of materialistic items, but um, this is definitely one of the items that I have in my collection. It's very clean cut classic, but then in the back has her signature. But I really do can I really do feel like I am gonna repurchase this handbag. Not in the black color. I believe I'm gonna get it in the brown because I genuinely do like the functionality. I love the shape. This is my favorite Tory Burch handbag, and this is my favorite handbag in my collection as of now. So therefore, I, I do want to have this one, and I want longevity on this one. And I texted all my friends, I posted on Instagram, and I got so many lovely comments. I even got a comment that said um, they thought it was a late Mother's Day post, but it was actually Tory. And I took and I texted all my primas and stuff from like Mexico, and they were so like, "Oh my God, man, you met Tory! Like that is so cool!" Like um, my aunt sent me like a long paragraph. She was like, "I'm so proud of you, Sergio. You've just been going out at life like." So many great things have been happening for you. Que Dios te bendiga. Uh, and, and I want even more great things to happen to you. And so um, this is just one of one of the favorite days of 2021 so far. And, you know, I mean, what I con las ganas. Honestly, if I didn't run and my friends didn't tell me to run, I probably wouldn't have ran. And so I'm thankful for my friends that pushed me to go do it because de verdad, I really would have been wondering what if she would or what if she wouldn't. And sometimes you just kind of have to go for it. You have to shoot your shot and... Sometimes you'll get yes, sometimes you'll get no, but you just have to say at least you tried and you have to keep it moving, you have to keep it going forward. So yeah, Tory Burch signed my bag and I'm about to tell you my reaction that my mom had. So my mom is in Mexico right now and so I said, hey, hey ma, you will never believe what just happened. She's like, que, que paso, like, que paso, like, she got, you know how moms are, se ponen me worried, they're, she's like, what happened, like, what happened? Cause I said, oh my God, mom, I said something, uh, something really happened right now. And then so I sent the picture and she was like, she was like, is that? And then I said, yes. I was like, yes, that's Tory Burch. And she was like, how did that happen? And then I, then I sent her the picture of the bag and she's like, she was, <laughs> she was like, oh my God. She's like, she did not sign your bag. Like, de verdad? And I told her yes. And she was like, she was like, mendigo. She, she was like, yo quería una firmada mi nombre también. But she was like, I'm so happy for you. Like, she was like, I know you love Tori probably even more than I do. And she was just so happy for me. She was like, she was like, I'm so proud that you kind of went and ran. Uh, you chased for it, and she gave she gave you what you wanted. And she's like, I'm just so happy for you. And she was like, te extraño mucho. I can't wait to see her. I don't I don't get to see my mom for a couple more days, so they're still on vacation. So um, I actually do miss my parents popular country belief even though I don't even live with them um, I <laughs> I definitely miss my parents and so I, I'm just you know it's just you know this is just a, 
Uh, what I'm trying to say is when you want something in life, go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it, and you never know what, you, what you'll get from it. And like I said, um, no me quedé con las ganas, me firmó mi bolsa, and I'm absolutely um, happy. I'm so freaking happy. And yeah, this is my Toy Birch Eleanor, signed by Toy Birch. Um, I'll leave the link down below for this handbag plus everything that I'm wearing. Um, I want to say thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I love each and every single one of you, and yeah. Uh, tengo una bolsa firmada from Tori herself. Um, I love this handbag so freaking much. Um, and yeah, thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys, and take care.